started after this. Just about ready to go. And on the mound in this one, Luis Severino. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And to the plate for Kansas City, number 11. Pitch misses there, and this one is off and running. Severino kicks deals. And now two and nothing. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. And now two balls and a strike. Severino. And there's the strike. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One down. Oh, well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. That's inside. Oh, that's inside. Pitch misses oh, three. three and O. Oh. Good that's plate four. appearance take there. Able to take the walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boog. The last one wasn't even close. So, man aboard. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. One ball. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Severino throws to first, and he dives back in safely. Witt, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Another throw over. No, he's safe. Kicks and fires. And that's downstairs and outside. Severino over to first, and he's back in there. Two and one now, Severino. And that one wrapped foul. Pitch misses there, and the count's okay. full. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. That's Set three. down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. 
And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Clips the corner. 0-1. And the righty deals. One and, one. and a pitch out, but nothing going on. Severino checks on first. Witt back in standing. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that one handled. Over to the pitcher, but it's offline. He's safe at first. We all know that that the first inning game. can be a critical one in terms of guys settling in and the tone being set for the game. So this isn't what you're looking for on defense. Two out errors are a lot like two out walks, but maybe even worse because your pitcher did his job to get what should have been the last out of that inning. Michael Massey stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Smoked on the ground a second. They get the force. That's the third out. Royals strand a pair. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in New York and towing the slab, Jordan Lyles. Well, it's no secret he's had his struggles at the big league level. Career ERA over five. But today's a new day. He's going to take the baseball, go out there and compete. I can't wait to watch. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Volpe. The shortstop. Anthony, the shortstop. Anthony. Volpe. Here comes a pitch. And a big swing no and a miss. One straight. Way ball high. Ball. One ball, one strike. That's oh. a little bit low. The 2 1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Two and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched that him is, up is. on the inside no part of the plate. Here. Couldn't get around on Wait, it and no, catch no. it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put them away. Did a nice job right there. And he deals. That one the other way, and it goes just foul. A swing and a soft liner. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting third, the designated hitter. Here's Stanton now. Stanton. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Line drive, base hit. Yeah. 
Everything came together that for him. Ball. Showed a willingness the to drive that pitch the opposite Anthony. way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull Let's the ball. Go. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Throws to first, inning over. The Yanks leave one, scoreless after one. Back in the Bronx, now with the plate, Freddie Fermin. The catcher, number 34. Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple, very repeatable delivery. And yeah, that's outside. One and oh. One ball, no strike. Look Still out, enough. almost got him upstairs. Straighten him up a little bit. Righty delivers. Three balls, no strike. Right. And there's the automatic. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bader should have it. And there's one down. That except the first base. Here's Nick Prado. Prado. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Good eye on oh. that spot. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boog from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. And the Go next on, pitch is way outside. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boog, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as no. well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The 1-0. -oh. That no, one is upstairs. Two balls. Two balls. Prado no leads off first with one away. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. And that's oh. down and away. Three and one. Severino throws to first. Save. Prado down. back easily. Another move to first, hey. and he's back in that time as well. No score here in the second. Whew. That one finds the corner. Now three, three and two. And here it comes. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. 
Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Dyrone Blanco. And first offering is fouled off. Late that time, and it's strike oh, two. Pitch misses. Ball. It's a ball and two strikes. In the air to left center. Torres makes the grab on the run. So one left for Kansas City. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back now in the Bronx. Leading now it's LeMayhew up to hit. The third baseman. See, DJ LeMayhew, really good hitter, but as well, defensive versatility. And fittingly enough, he's the first winner of the Gold Glove Award that went to a utility player. He won it in 2022 in the American League. That's a strike, and it's nothing in two. Yeah, Boog, that year, 35 games at first, 41 at second, and 47 at third. Uh, this guy's just got so much versatility, but a great hitter as well. You know, both you and I were surprised the first time that we were kind of up close and around him of how tall he is. He's six foot four. Baker. And now Bader up to the plate. Strike one. Lyles, a guy that really fills up the strike zone, rarely walks people. The downside is the home run ball more likely in play. The 0-1. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Well, pitchers like this usually work down in the zone a lot, but these days, with all the uppercut swings most hitters are taking no, to elevate the ball. the ball, pitchers almost have one to ball. be effective up in the zone with hard stuff. So maybe that's one area he can improve in his game to try to combat that long ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. As a hitter, does knowing that this guy's going to be in the zone, does that make you more aggressive? Kind of, but you still have to stay on that backside. You've got to make sure you get pitch recognition and let your hands work. On the ground to first. He takes it on yeah. his own, and that is that. Down in order, go the Yankees. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Now it's going to be number 11. Garcia. Severino back to work. Oh. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike, struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Now wanted one. One, one strike. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. In the dirt. Throw on to Rizzo. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Now 
now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Strike two. It's amazing to look up oh, and two. see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Top of the third, no score. Severino with another strikeout. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. First no, offering, and it like just misses. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Oh. That's in there. Two and one now. And he hits a ground ball right side. Peraza fires yep, over to first, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Royals, and we are still scoreless. Back at Yankee Stadium we as go. we go to the last of the third. The and inning. stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. Peraza. The wind of the pitch. Peraza starting up the middle at second in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. And the pitch. That one missing inside. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Next pitch is downstairs. Careful. Fights it off, you'll see another. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Fouls it back with two strikes. Line drive, base hit. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. No ball. One strike. And a pitch just Whoa. off the inside edge. One and one. In there at the knees. That is strike two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And now the count is even. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Move to first. No, and he's, he's back safely. Right.
The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Peraza gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is foul back. Two two on the way. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right hander kicks deals. Oh that hit him. Wit tossed to second. Oh. On to first double play. Well, these are the ones you hate to see. It got him right in the head. Amazingly, he looks like he might be okay. He's kind of waving everyone off. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty amazed. They obviously take any shot to the head very seriously, but you're right, Boog. It looks like he's doing okay out there. Thank goodness. Now it's the shortstop. Anthony Volpe let off the game with a strikeout. Yeah, that's outside. No Next right. offering is in for a One strike. Ball. One strike. Bounce to the left side. Not in time to get him, and the tapper turns into an infield single. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Here's Glaber Torres. 0 for 1 so far. Look out! Good. And it hit him. Well, this has become a dangerous situation now. Missing spots on the mound and an opportunity for this offense to take advantage. So two on with two away. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and deals. That one's in there. And the count one and one. First and second, two down. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Start of the fourth. And yeah, the batter now, Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez. And the right hander back to work. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And it's gone. A shot to left is 17th of the year. It's 1-0. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. At the plate, Michael Massey. That's towards center. Bader should have it, and it's caught for the out. 
the catcher, number 34. Freddie. And now the catcher comes up to him. Freddie Fermin. First offering misses the mark. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. The pitch. Fermin checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. The 3-1. Hey. And there's a strike. So I went into the game. I happened Crazy. to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> and that was a great, <laughs> great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. Now bad. One gone three runner three. at first. Nick, Nick Prado, Prado steps in for the Royals. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the 1 0. That's a ball. There's a strike. Fermin stands at first with one out. Next offering upstairs. And a pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Three balls, two strikes. So all filled up, Severino. That's ripped to right down the line. And that one gets down, fair ball. Lead runner holds it third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. He was all right over that one. Sit. Just a solid swing Ooh. right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. One down. Drew Waters stands in. Struck out swinging his first time. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Yo, won. That's a base hit. One runs in. The throw home. But it's offline, oh, and they're up by three. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Dyrone Blanco steps in for the Royals. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Lined, and that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Up next to the Royals. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. In there for strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. That just misses. And one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Albert Abreu up and throwing. A 
at the belt and fires. Good eye right there. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. 2-2 two -two now. Peraza to second. There's one, and that's two. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Royals three, and the Yankees nothing. Back here in New York. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Now, we all know about Anthony Rizzo's skill set on the field multiple times at All-Star. Multiple times he's won the gold glove, he even won the National League Platinum Glove but also a guy who won the 2017 Roberto Clemente Award for his work off the field. Ball and a strike. And there's a ball. Well, just all around, the kind of player that you want to have right in the middle of your lineup. He's a leader, and he leads by example. Doesn't seem to be one that talks a whole lot, but his actions are what does the talking for him. Rizzo out of the play, and there's one down. Up to the plate now steps D.J. LeMayhew. His first at bat was a strikeout. Love Mayhew. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Mayhew. Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. The why to kick the pitch. That's outside. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. And down on strikes, two away. The center fielder, number four. And stepping in is Harrison. the speedy Harrison Bader. Bader. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That's to third. Gathers and throws to first. And Bader is set down. Out number three. So the Yanks go in order. Still down, 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. Ball one oh. there. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Foul ball there. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Just oh. misses with that one. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship oh. team needs to have. Okay. Next pitch misses outside. And now three and two. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. He's starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Man at first, here's the left fielder, M.J. Melendez. Ready. 
gets the outside corner with that one. Well, these Royals doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Feels like almost every bat has gone full. They've worked a full count six different times, and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now. Wit aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch downstairs. Now one and two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. Yeah, Typically yeah. likes so to shoot the ball the other way. Salvador but that time, a little anxious. Salvador Perez will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Severino throws to first. Witt back in on a dive. Back over to first, and they're keeping him close. The 1 0. And there he goes. Turned on, but foul wide of third. In there. And so now one and two. Sets him down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. The batter number 19. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. Massey. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, if he's going to steal okay. second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Pickoff throw, and he's back in on a dive. That one hit to right, coming on McKinney. And that's the third out. Royals leave one, but they lead it 3-0. Back for more from the Bronx. Ready to go, Ready to go for the last half of the inning. The now, way, here is Billy, Billy McKinney. McKinney. The right-hander back to work. And that's in the know. dirt. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. They say it went. One and two. Got him looking. And one out now. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Peraza right. adding for the second time, and that's strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the Woo. plate discipline there. Next offering is in for a strike. Here 
Peraza. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. The one two. Stays alive. Misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Waters grabs it on the run. Now, now batting, batting. Catcher, catcher, Kyle, Kyle. Higashioka. Kyle Higashioka, the next to hit. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And that oh, one just misses. Way. A ball and no strikes. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Nothing across here this half. Five innings complete. It's the Royals three and the Yankees nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 63. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Here's the catcher to hit, Freddie Fermin. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he steals strikes for his pitcher. And it's one and one. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Sets him down looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. You know, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Prado up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Movement in the Yankees pen. Clark Schmidt getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. To third. Slings to first. Right. And a couple of quick outs. The right fielder, number six, six. Drew, Drew Waters. Waters. Two outs, base is empty. And next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. And that one is inside. 1-1. One one. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. Two outs. Got it by for the K. So they go quietly there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Royals three and the Yankees nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Volpe. Lyles back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. One ball, no strike. And this is inside. Ball. 
That pitch in for a strike, and it's two and one. Oh, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Next three offering ball. down One in the strike. dirt. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. <laughs> on the ground to first. Prado steps on the bag. Lead off man retired in the no six. Oh, well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball Later. out of the air. Lets the defense work Shore. behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Glaber Torres up to hit. He swings and fouls one off. Next one offering ball, misses down and away. That one oh. off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. That one is gone. Glaber Torres goes yard. His 17th of the year. It's 3-1. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. First offering misses badly for ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Stanton swings, crushes one, out to left, and it's gone! John Carlos Stanton goes deep, his 14th of the year. And they close the gap. It's 3-2. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And now the 1. Just oh, missed. On the ground. And foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Snags it for the second out. Now batting, now batting, third, third baseman, baseman, DJ. Here's DJ LeMayhew. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Just nope. missed. The wind and the pitch. Good eye right there. Hit weakly on the ground. And that's just foul. Oh. 
Choo-choo now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Clark Schmidt. He last pitched two days ago. Clark Schmidt. Well, one run game. So up now for Kansas City, Dyrone Blanco. Dyrone Blanco. The pitch. Slider clips the zone. Now a slow roller to second. Peraza fires to first on the run. One up, one down. Up next to the Royals, the third baseman, Michael. Here's the third baseman, number 11. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it right, makes the boom. whole team that much better. No ball, two straight. Oh, and two now. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Bobby Witt Jr. getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Next pitch misses way outside. Swing and a miss. One and, One and two. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And that one hammered way back there, and that one's gone. He rockets one to right, his 16th homer of the year, and they add on. It's 4-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two away with nobody on. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Ground ball left side, and it gets by him. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and he's there with a double. Now bad. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Next is the designated hitter, Salvador Perez. In there, and it's 0-1. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Started to swing, oh, held up. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back.
the 1 1. And a foul ball. One, two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Next oh. offering is down low. Melendez at second with two down. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. The Royals get a run in the inning on this solo homer. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the seventh, and now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's no, got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Swing and a bouncer. Throw over to Prado. No. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Up next, next to the Yankees, Yankees. the right, the right fielder, fielder, Billy, Billy McKinney. And now the right fielder, Billy McKinney. The Yankees looking to rally. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Taylor Clark preparing to come on if needed. Quas getting loose as well. And the righty deals. And another ball. That's down oh. and in. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Kicks and fires. In the air, right side. Waters gliding to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Now Two down. Out. The second, the second baseman. baseman. Oswald. Oswald. So two down now, and here is Oswald Peraza. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Ball one. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Throw over to Prado, and the Yanks go quietly. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Still down by a count of four to two. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with the lefty at the plate. So digging in, Michael Massey. The second baseman, Michael Massey. And he deals. Ball one, no, no strikes. Just the off the outside part of the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Now 
next offering oh. is downstairs. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count right. quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Three one now on the ground to third lays out. He's got it. The throw and very nicely done for the out. Isaiah Kiner Falefa, and he'll be the injury replacement taking over at third. Here's the catcher, yeah, yeah, Freddie yeah. Fermin. A strikeout Freddy. and a walk. For me. Nope, outside. Bullpen activity starting up now. Number 97, getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. It One might ball. be time One to strike. choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't get any air the under it, but he smoked that yeah, ball yeah. back up the middle. Bravo. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And to the plate for Kansas City, Nick Prado. Right. And that's Woo. through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. Here's your one. That one fouled off. Fermin, the base runner at first with one out. That one oh. just misses. His understanding one of the ball. strike zone, strike. very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Next pitch oh, is outside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Yeah, oh, that's too high. Three balls, three balls two strikes. So now three and two, and he oh, walked four. him. Thank you, mate. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Waters in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. That oh. misses the zone, and the count even one and one. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Torres makes the catch, two away now. The center, the center fielder, fielder number 44, 44. Dyron Blanco. Blanco. Dyron Blanco digs in now. Oh, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add on run and the number nine guy at the plate. 
First One pitch, ball. not okay. close. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering upstairs. Oh, Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Up the middle, stops it on a slide, and that's a great play for the out. Royals strand a pair as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. New arm out of the bullpen, Taylor Clark. And he's now been now hit now pretty now hard now at now times now this year, so he's looking for better. Taylor right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Now, here is Kyle Higashioka. The catcher. The catcher. Kyle Higashioka. The wind of the pitch. That one That's missed. One and oh. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. That oh one misses, and now 3-0. and oh. And there's Go. ball four. ball four. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches, and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Back to the top of the Yankee order, and next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Now fly ball to right center. Waters moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. The left fielder, number 25, Glaber. Here comes Glaber Torres. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one's back. And it's gone! Home run! That should fire up the dugout, and we are all tied up. It's 4-4. Four, four. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers, and it's fouled away. Here comes a pitch. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Next one is off the plate. And it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Well, the next offering misses, yeah, and it's a full count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Hard hit, base hit. 
So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to pop. So many positives that led to that knock. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Nick Whitgren. He's pitching on two days rest. Making a move at first. Pinch running here, Greg Allen. Greg Allen. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Line drive, base hit. And the go ahead run into scoring position. One away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Gets under it and pops it up. And the infield fly is called. The center, the center fielder, fielder number, number four. four. So Harrison. first and second with two outs. Bader. Harrison Bader stepping in now for the Yankees. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Carlos Hernandez, the young right-hander up and throwing. Yarbrough, the lefty, warming up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Allen, the lead runner out at second. Rizzo at first, two out of the inning. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Mm. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Out to short. They take the force out. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. But some late inning heroics as this home run gets us even again. It's now tied 4-4. New pitcher for the Yankees, number 97. And he's had a really hard time throwing strikes so far this season. His walk rate is up there among the worst in the league for relievers. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, number 11. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And here it comes. That's in for a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That's a strike. And the count is 0-2. Line and a base hit into right. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Oh, well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. Flashed his power last time. Blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tied at four. Swing and a miss. That strike two. Action in the pen down there. Wandy Peralta, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. 
And a pop up right side foul territory. And Witt is out. And there's one down. The left field, number one, and Joe Melendez. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Tied at four. Nope. Ball two. Two and oh. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Ground ball up the middle. Volpe throws it to first in time. That's the second out. Now that designated hitter, Salvador. Salvador Perez, Perez steps in for the Royals. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First oh. offering misses the mark. Oh, no, no. And that's outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And the pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Michael Massey waits on deck. Three oh down. And a swing and a miss there. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Next offering is foul back. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. And a pitch. Strike two. Oh, and two. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9. Two up in inning number nine. And we are tied 4-4. Pitching change here, Scott Barlow. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should go, definitely go. be well rested. Billy McKinney stepping Billy. in now for the Yankees. McKinney. The why to kick the pitch. And that one ripped into right. Waters hauls it in, and there's one away. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead no, run. No, no, no. He just wasn't no, able to find a season. hole. Oh, and up next for New York, Oswald oh, Peraza. Oh, oh. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. One ball. That okay. one misses in the dirt. Smash to the left side. Throw over to Prado. Oh, yeah. And a couple of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Oh, nice oh, job yeah, of the yeah, pitcher yeah. to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground oh, ball. Oh, oh. Excellent piece of work. Higashioka. And stepping in for the Yankees, Kyle Higashioka. And he swings oh, and misses at the initial offering.
And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. That's ripped. Base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. Waters whips it in quickly. The potential winning run holds it second in scoring position now. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch AB could end this one. And now Anthony Volpe. Fouled off. He was late. Ball in one now. And ball one. One and one. Falling oh, behind two and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Runner leads away at second. There's a swing and a miss. No, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Man on second, two down. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Glaber Torres on deck already. Two homers in the game. Huge impact in this one so far, and you know he'd like to make some noise in this inning as well. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. So they can't come up with the winning run, and that means we'll have to go a little longer here tonight to find a winner. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner, so we are off to extra innings. And we are tied 4-4. Back now, we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Tommy Canely. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Tommy Canely. And here's the catcher, Freddie Fermin. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. And a pitch. Ball one, one no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Wandy Peralta, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Man at second. Fouled off down the right side. Kicks and deals. And that's in for a strike. One and two. One and two here. And the oh. one two misses to even the count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Ball three. Next one is off the play. Three, and that's ball three. Nick Prado next up for Kansas City. Three two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. The kick, the 3-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside yeah, part of the plate, no, stay back on something off yeah, speed. Yeah. So many times, right that on. location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. And now, Nick Prado. Ball, 
There's the strike up high. Going one. Ouch. Well, that can certainly jumpstart an offense. The hit by pitch right there, and now they have the opportunity to make it really hurt on the scoreboard. First and second, one out. Drew Waters steps in for the Royals. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Swing and a miss. One ball. And one it's strike. one and one. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. All tied up. And here in extra innings. The next one. pitch misses, and it's two and two one. one. And the right-hander deals. High drive, deep right field, way back there, out of here. Home run number five on the season, and that gives them a lead. It's 7-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. One down. Here's the center fielder, Dyrone Blanco. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One and oh. At the belt and fires. Now wanted one. 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 Check swing didn't go. Two and one. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one. Out in front just a little bit. Next offering is outside. This has been a rough inning, but sometimes you just got to work through it, save the rest of that bullpen, somehow stop the bleeding. Foul ball. Right-handed reliever. In the air, left field. And there's two down. The batter, the, batter. the, third, the third baseman, baseman. Mike Hill. Number 11 Garcia. steps in for the Royals. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Swings and misses. And the count even at one. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Fouls it back with two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Good eye right there. Bobby Witt Jr. up next.
The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. So a lefty out of the pen, Wandy Peralta. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Two outs, runner at first. And the batter will be the shortstop, Bobby Witt, Jr., In there for strike one. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Ooh. On the corner for a strike, and it's 0-2. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The 0-2. Fights it off, he'll see another. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Royals grab three on this homer. It's now 7-4. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back in New York, on to the bottom of the 10th. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. And the pitch. That misses, whoa, whoa. and it's 1-0. Oh. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Carlos Hernandez, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Yarbrough, a left-hander, also throwing. The pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Blanco gets under it, puts it away for the out. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you now cannot hang a breaking ball right it there. It. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Allen. Here's Greg Allen. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. And yeah, that's outside. Two and That one Three way balls. outside. No Three balls, no strikes. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Oh. In for a strike, now 3-1. Three Three and one. One. Volpe over at second, one down. The pitch. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of no, tells no, you no. that that's the pitch no, he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Rizzo. So, first and second with one man gone. Anthony Rizzo now at the plate. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The tying run at the plate. No. That one misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Two on, one out. Diving, and he can't make the play. 
And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. They don't score this inning. There'll be some second guessing for sure. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. First time up was a pop out. Off the mark there. Ball one. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Fly ball down the line, and that's a fair ball. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate, and they trail by one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you could come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Jose Quas. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And next for New York, Harrison Bader. The corners are in, middle infield playing back for the double play. He's going, double he's steal. Going. It's a squeeze. Scoops it up barehanded, and it beats him. What a play. Oh, man, it takes guts to call for the suicide squeeze with the lead on the line and this late in the game. And that was great execution. They're playing with cryotherapy in their veins. And now here is Billy McKinney. And first offering is fouled off. So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. The pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. Winning run stands at second. And oh. one and two. The winning run on second base. Hard hit to third. Fires across the diamond, and we're headed to the 11th. Three runs, two hits, no errors, and one man left. We push on to the 11th, and we are tied 7-7. And welcome back. We now the left fielder, M.J. Melendez. M.J. Melendez. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. And that skips that into great. dirt. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Salvador Perez on deck for the Royals. And ball four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. The designated hitter, Salvador Perez. Perez, the next to hit, takes ball one. And now the lefty check swing, but he went too far. And now it's even one and one. Higashioka tries to block it, but it gets away. And now a single might score two. 
Well, Boog, it's already been a tough start to this inning as it is, and that wild pitch is going to make things even tougher. Two men in the scoring position now, still with nobody out. So this really becomes a strikeout situation on the mound. That one in for a strike, two and two. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And the next pitch is way outside. And he deals. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Go ahead, run on base. And here is Michael Massey. And that's in there for strike one. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up or something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. That's ripped into the outfield. McKinney makes the catch. Both runners tagging from second and third. On the third, save. A run comes in on the play. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag to tag takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Two on, one out. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. And that is in for a strike. On, one, one. one strike. First to third, one down. Strike. Next offering Ooh. is in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. This one in the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Fouls it off, still one and two. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Runners are at the corners, one away. Good job to fight that one off. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Got him. Two out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Prado stands in now and watches strike one. Melendez at third. Perez on at first with two down. Swings and sends a rocket to right. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Scrambles back to second safely, and a run comes in to score. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Clay Holmes comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And... One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So two down. Drew Waters will hit next. First offering, and it just misses.
Swing and a ball lifted left field. Torres has a beat on it. Squeezes it. And that is the inning. They put two on the board. One hit, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th. Royals 9 and the Yankees 7. Welcome back. We're at extras here. Here's the second baseman, Oswald Peraza. Quas back to work. And that's down it away. What a note. So now one and two. One ball. All He's sliders ready. so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind. That's three. Got him looking for the strikeout. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Now, now, now. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. That's in there, and that's strike one. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And a base hit right there. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. So they hold the runner at third, no, wanting to play it safe. Short Think shot. that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Next to hit, Anthony Volpe. Up and in, and that's ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next one oh, misses, oh, and now 2-0. and oh. Tying run is at first here in extra innings. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In to score from third, and it's a one-run game. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here is Glaber Torres. In there, and it's 0-1. Big spot, tying and winning runs aboard with one down. That nope. misses That's off the way. outside edge. Next Keep offering way off straight. the plate. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Kicks and fires. Oh. Greg Allen waiting for a turn at the plate. Right-hander kicks deals, and That's that is ball today. four, and the Yankees are in business. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Ryan Yarbrough. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. So now the DH spot, Greg Allen. The walk and a run scored his first time. Strike one. No ball, one strike. And a pitch. And a curb misses outside. Oh. 
On the ground to the left. No, 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 Down no, the foul, line, foul. and it's foul. The bases are full for the New York Yankees. Inside oh, just inside. missed. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Rizzo in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Trying to deliver is the hero. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And that drops in for a strike. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club.